made of precious gems and high quality materials from all over the world. Not to mention a whopping 20,000 workers who worked for around 16 years to complete the glorious Taj Mahal. Is that what makes the Taj Mahal so remarkable? Or does design have an influence of mathematics in making it one of the wonders of the world? The Taj Mahal is called a symbol of love, but we can also call it a symbol of pure mathematical symmetry. Let's see what symmetry is and how it makes things visually appealing. At some point in our childhood, we have all drawn this landscape of the sun setting beyond the mountains. The sun always sits between the pair of mountains, neither to the left nor to the right, straight down the middle. One vertical line passing right through the middle and we have the exact same image on either side. This is the concept of mathematical symmetry, which is also visible through many aspects of the Taj Mahal. From the minarets to windows, to the dome-shaped kiosks or canopies, everything found on one side of the Taj Mahal is on the other side as well. In fact, the symmetry of the Taj Mahal was taken very seriously serious enough to build a mosque and a guest house which are completely identical on either side of the main structure to maintain the overall symmetry. Have you noticed this kind of symmetry in any other structures? Let us know in the comments. If we were to measure the Taj, we could measure one half and just double it up to get the entire dimensions of the structure, reducing the effort in half while the minarets or the four towers at each corner of the Taj Mahal display absolute symmetry, they have the concept of mathematical angles infused into their structure as well. Although they may look upright and erect, in reality, they are angled slightly away from the main structure. Many reports cite that this minor adjustment of the angle was to ensure that in case of an earthquake, the minarets would fall away from the Taj Mahal and the symbol of love would remain safe from the tumbling minarets. While mathematical angles keep the Taj Mahal safe from an earthquake, the delicate inscriptions on the walls of Taj have a touch of math as well. Have you noticed how a bus looks huge when it is closer, but the very same bus keeps getting smaller in size as it moves farther? Similarly, the inscriptions closer to the eye should be huge, while the ones on the top should be smaller and unreadable. But that isn't how it is, all thanks to mathematical constant. By using a mathematical constant or an idea of a fixed number, the architects were able to gradually increase the size of the inscriptions as they went higher, keeping the writings readable as well as beautiful. Last but not the least, the design of the Taj Mahal also features the golden ratio. To get this golden ratio, we simply take the numbers 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, until infinity. Notice that every number is the sum of the previous two numbers. Now, if we divide any number by the preceding number, we will get an answer around 1.6. This is called the Fibonacci series and geometrically looks like this. A 1 by 1 square followed by a 2 by 2, followed by a 3 by 3, 5 by 5 and so forth. When we take this geometric shape and apply it to the Taj, it fits in rather perfectly, giving the Taj a composed and visually appealing appearance. This golden ratio is also seen in the designs of Parthenon in Greece 
the Notre Dame in France and even the pyramids of Giza, just to name a few. That is how mathematics play a role in adding touch of beauty and elegance to architecture. As it is often quoted, nothing is ever perfect. Despite all the precious gems and stones, 20,000 workers, 16 years of effort and the magic of math, perfect symmetry is disturbed in just one aspect of the Taj Mahal. Do you know what we are referring to? Let us know in the comments.